Let's talk about the causes of pleural effusion. The pleura is a thin serous membrane which covers the lungs and lines the inner surface of the chest wall cavity. The outermost layer is called the parietal pleura and it attaches to the chest wall. The inner layer is the visceral pleura and it covers the lungs, blood vessels, nerves and the bronchi. The tissues will secrete lubricating fluids which allow the lungs to move smoothly in the chest cavity during respiration. Physiologically, the pleural cavity normally contains approximately 15 milliliters of serous pleural fluid. But if there is any process which will result in more fluid formation, this will produce a pleural effusion. Pleural effusion is the buildup of excess fluid in the pleural cavity. There are many causes of pleural effusion and for educational purposes, we can divide this into two types, transudates and exudates. This categorization relies upon the biochemical analysis of pleural fluid aspiration. Transudates occur when there is an increase in hydrostatic pressure or decreased capillary oncotic pressure. For example, cardiac failure, nephrotic syndrome, cirrhosis, trauma, asbestos exposure. But in exudates, this occurs due to an increase in permeability of the microcirculation or due to an alteration in the pleural fluid drainage to the lymph nodes. For example, bronchial carcinoma, secondary metastatic malignancy, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, tuberculosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and lymphoma. And that's all about the causes of pleural effusion. In the next video, we'll discuss about how to analyze the pleural fluid aspiration. And until then, if this was helpful to you, like, comment, and share these videos. And subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.